Care for what? Okay, it's sudden. Yeah, I'm good. See you there. Dude, thanks, man. Yo, what is up, guys? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Finally, right after... Okay, my brakes do work. Finally, after so long here in Beijing, I've had an opportunity to motor vlog. I can't believe I'm doing this. Wow. You know, just... Uh, I knew I was going to do this this morning, but um, thinking about it, I was thinking to myself, like, what am I going to say? Uh... This is my first time on a scooter in my entire life. This this looks really weird, like doing this, like sitting down. Um, it, it, it reminds me of a sh my, uh, my my one of my favorite TV shows that I just started watching recently called Baskets with Zach Galifianakis. He was riding and he was like riding with his legs crossed like this. It was so hilarious. It looks so ridiculous. But anyways, we are in Liang Ma Chao, and this is where I work. I've lived here for the past uh, 10 months now. I have two more months remaining here in Beijing. Um, the scooter I'm using now is my co-worker's. He was, I told him about my channel and what I do. He knows I'm a biker, so he trusted me to take a scooter out for a run. Um, I am on the clock right now. Um, I am on the clock right now, and it's, it's okay because I don't, I, don't, I don't have a class until like 3 o'clock. It's just 1 o'clock now. But uh, yeah, this is Beijing, guys. Wow, you know, I've had such an amazing experience here in China. I've learned so much. It's just been amazing, guys. I There's so much I want to say, but I just want to keep this video relatively short. I don't want to stay out too long with his scooter because he does have to charge it for a really long time so he can get back home today. But yeah, I've learned so much, guys. Um, wow, the Chinese people... I have nothing but good things to say about Chinese people. Wow, you know, I had so many stereotypes, I had so many misconceptions coming into Beijing. You know, I've never been to East Asia before. And the Chinese are one of the sweetest, innocent, nicest people I ever met in my entire life. Like, you can just tell that the natural disposition is still intact in their hearts. It's just an amazing and amazing humbling experience for them to uh, treat you like you're, you're one of their own even when you don't even deserve it, you know? They, they don't even know you, and then, and they, but they're just so nice, you know? It's just, it's really, really amazing. Um, okay, aside from that, um, this is where I work. I, I work in this area. I work in Liang Man Chiao. I'll, I'll go. I'll, I'll keep going straight, and then I'll make another U-turn and call it a day. But um, thanks so much for the, you guys who've been stuck around in my channel and watching my videos and whatnot. Um, I'm, I'm really grateful that you guys didn't really, you know, unsubscribe and go elsewhere. Because I've, I've, I looked at my, you know, channel stats. I've I lost a lot of subscribers. That's understanding. You know, I'm not gonna, you know, complain and moan about it. But that's what happens when you're inactive for such a long time you know i was inactive for a long time because you know many things you know happened to me um many bad things happened to me over and over again you know uh for example my my battery crapped out on me uh my battery my laptop crapped out on me and then i i then um you know, I didn't then I didn't have a VPN. Uh, the internet here in China is so slow. So I was trying to figure out a lot of things. So the, for, for the first three months, I was just trying to adjust. I didn't really know um, what the heck I was doing here. But now that I'm, I would say I'm fully adjusted. I'm over the ups and downs. I'm over the culture shock. Now I, I, I do believe I'm fully adjusted now. Um, I read on the internet, did some research about culture shock. Usually it takes, you know, people maybe one year or longer to, to, to be fully adjusted. But because I have travel experiences and I lived in Yemen, I lived really in difficult um, situations, uh, I've I've been able to adjust rather quickly uh, compared to others because of my travel experiences in Yemen. So yeah, this is a moto vlog, or I should say uh, electric scooter vlog. Um, Wow, I've moto vlogged in America, I've moto vlogged in Saudi Arabia, I've moto vlogged in Yemen, I've moto vlogged now in China. So, four separate countries that I've moto vlogged in, you know, like, regardless of what anyone says, no one can take that away from me. I, I, I consider that an achievement, really, honestly. It's just it's such a really, really cool thing to look back, you know, on your, ch on your videos, on your channel and say, wow, you know, like, I've come a long way. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, right now, it is... Uh, a little bit over 
it's it's a little it's a, it's like five minutes to one so like maybe some people are still like coming back from lunch and going back to their offices um so that's why you might see a lot of pedestrians um i i tried to come out here when it wasn't wasn't too many people but uh yeah i don't know what else to say i'm just really taken back by this moment really appreciative really blessed and fortunate to be able to travel around the world and do and do you know what i do finally you know i i feel like i, I found something in my life where I, um i'm good at you know and it plays to my strengths you know being a teacher is such an amazing amazing humbling experience and you know when people um you know are appreciative of you and respect you it, sometimes that's worth more than you know the actual money you're making um it's kind of hard to explain if you're not doing what you love uh, let me tell you something guys if you're not doing what you love you got to chase after and you got to you got to take risks and, and go for it you know and coming to china was part of it you know like i wasn't happy in america honestly i, I didn't i wasn't happy in my life and i wasn't i wasn't happy with what i was doing and you know i said screw it you know i think i could be a good teacher i'm a, i'm great i'm a great communicator i'm very humorous i have a you know outgoing personality and you know here in china i was able to connect to these people uh, regardless of um you know, I have no prior shared experiences with them, although I was able to convey content in a manner in which they can grasp, but also I was able to connect with them and they, and they, they were able to see me as one of their own. And I think that's what's more important rather than the actual skill of teaching. Sure, teaching is, uh, make sure, sure, teaching is, uh, teaching is important yeah you have to have that skill and I've, I've perfected my craft over these past 10 months but what I've re slowly realized that if you don't if you're not able to connect with students students aren't going to listen to you you know what I mean they're going to be daydreaming in class they're not going to be engaged they're going to be checking their WeChat WeChat is like a uh, social media application here that's really popular in East Asia and they're not going to be really like you know uh, they're not going to respect you you know they're just going to like oh okay uh, you know I'm here in class after you know I have to gut through this because uh, I hate English but I I found a way where I can make English really fun and the great thing about the uh, center that I'm involved in is that you know there are two aspects in which are really controlled which there are lesson plans that the school pro that the um, training center provides you and then there's like uh, another class which is called social club um, and in social club you're able to just teach whatever you want and that's the beauty of it you know you, you're super stressed out um, teaching um, teaching uh you know through the lesson plan and then finally you have an opportunity twice or three times a week to just teach whatever you want and in those classes those classes are much larger where it comes to like you know 25 to 30 students and it's so cool so so cool because i'm able to like showcase yemen in a way in which you know uh media doesn't and i'm able to you know show them you know um some of my American motor vlogs, some of my Yemen motor vlogs, and hey, look, you know, look at your life in China, look at my life and how it was in Yemen, and compare the two. So, doing that was such a, it's such a, a really, really cool thing, and, and students really, really appreciated that. Um, and I, I didn't really have no plan, I don't, I don't really have a planned route today, I'm just going anywhere, but... So I'm just riding around here in, in, in Beijing, and this is my first time, by the way, ri driving a scooter or riding anything motorized in Beijing. This is my first time. And it's funny because, like, everything right now I'm doing, you have to learn, like, over time. Like, But I'm doing it just, like, naturally because I've, I've walked as a pedestrian everywhere, and I, I, see, I, I pay attention to the patterns that the, the motorists make. And as a scooter rider, this is what you have to do, you know? Like, you got to... It's more safer to follow like the the bike lanes as a scooter and and and, and follow the uh, follow the how can I say the route of uh, the pedestrians. It's it's much safer because um, here in China uh, everything is so. Um, in, uh, let's see. Now I'm starting to lose my train of thought. Here in China, or I should say here in Beijing, it's relatively difficult to commute. So basically, to get from point A to point B is obviously, in any big city around the world, is such a hassle because of traffic and because of how massive these cities are nowadays. Um, 
but, but what I've realized is that most this is more convenient than actually you know having a car and to be honest sometimes walking is more convenient than having a car and I, and I never thought that in a million years because this is my first time in my life living in such a big city um, I never lived in, in a city like this in my life um, I come from a small town in Newark Delaware you know it's it's nothing compared to this. this this city is massive you know the people are so many people you know it's just amazing um, but yeah wow guys um, I don't know what else to say honestly I'm just I'm just taken back and super super blessed you know to have this experience and be able to do what I'm doing now